Greetings, pod fans. It's day 13 of Pod Vida. Pod videos myself every day in April. I'm back from Dublin, and I have got just one question. What the heck are these? My first thought was, oh, they're like, they're like servers, obviously. They're, they have to be like servers. But then I realized, you know, uh, I'm not an expert on hardware or anything, but probably not the best thing to be having outside. Literally, we got into the hotel room, I looked outside and I saw all these flashing lights and like, it was making a noise constantly. But for the life of us, we could not figure out what these were. It, it looks like they're just being held up or like supported from our end so it doesn't fall like away from us so what 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 is what is that the hotel we stayed at was uh, the academy plaza it's like awful Connell street if anyone's ever been there and knows what that is please let me know because i'm very curious two days of being able to see a thing but not knowing what it is does this to a man but yeah it's currently 9 p.m i got back here at like five and had a nap so i'm just after waking up from night groggy i do apologize but I stayed up until 2 a.m. last night making sure that that video went live because, uh, I don't know, I, I wanted to make sure that it did and it was taking ages on that hotel internet so I knew if I woke up and it wasn't up yet I wouldn't be able to do it until I got back home. But enough about that. Um, this morning we woke up, um, we were getting an early-ish bus, like 1 p.m. because we decided we didn't really need all that much time for shopping because we didn't really care about the shopping side of things. So we spent our time going to the various nerd shops that we know of. I ended up picking out a few things that I've been looking for for a while and some things that I was just like, I want that. So that's what we're gonna talk about. Pod's shopping adventure in Dublin. First of all, we have uh, volume two hardback of Scott Pilgrim. Uh, I already have the full collection in softback. It's at my parents' house, but if you know me, you will know that hardbacks are my vice. Fancy hardbacks, I'm just like, I need it, I need it. It just feels like it's good. Why would I do that? Next up, we went to a GameStop and I bought, I was looking at quite a few things and then I noticed this. You can't see a card there, haha. <laughs> but this is a themed deck, a Pikachu themed deck of Pokemon cards, which I have I've saw ages ago and I decided that I really wanted it for one reason. And it's a dumb reason, don't get me wrong. You see, all of the Pikachu cards, you get three in this pack, one foil, they look like this. It's the, like, original Pikachu art before they decided that he needed to look sexy. But yeah, when I first saw that they were making that themed deck, it was a very long time ago. Uh, I got super excited because it reminded me of Pokemon Red, which was the first ever Pokemon game that I got. I would have been like seven years old and it reminded me of, you know, going on your Pokemon adventure, getting to Viridian Forest, and in there there is one Pikachu which looks like that. If you look in the background of the card, um, there's like forest uh, thing, so it's set there and it's really cool. So then we went to another game shop because we were on a quest to find a new Yu-Gi-Oh decks that released today for Pa because he's a massive nerd. I'm not. Pokemon cards are cool. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are not. And at that point, I was kind of like, I think I bought enough nerdy things right now. I don't need anything. I'm going to go in. I'm going to, like, look at stuff, but I don't need anything. Until I saw another box of Pokemon cards. <laughs> this one, again, had a Pikachu on it, which is very strange. Pikachu is very far from my favorite Pokemon. I prefer Raichu over him, and obviously Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. Uh, are my favorite. But this one was different. Um, <laughs> this is the box I got. I don't know if you can see that very well. If you played the X and Y games, you may recognize this little fella here. In that game, you get a Pikachu that loves dressing up. And there's a number of costumes you can do. This is one of them. <laughs> and this one is so much stronger than the other Pikachu, but uh, I prefer him because like you versus the man she told you not to worry about. Like, look at just how, uh, like, the, the Fat Pikachu looks like he's having so much more fun. This guy looks like he's angry all the time. That's not what you want. You want to be, be like Fat Pikachu. But that is everything I got up in Dublin. That uh, pack with the Pikachu Libre in it, um, it's actually two decks, two 30 card decks, which it has a script so you can learn how the game works. Like one person takes one deck, the other takes the other, and you both have a list of instructions of what to do on your turn. I, despite owning a very large number of these Pokemon cards, don't know how to play it. <laughs> As in, I literally have no idea. I, I know that you need energy to use things, but I don't know how the game works at all. I've, I've never played that, that card game. So hopefully I'm going to see if I can actually find someone to uh, play that with me and I can learn for once and all because I have a lovely Charizard that I want to use, even though I 
and don't even know if anyone still plays this game. But yeah, I think that's all for now. Uh, tomorrow is another day. Surprisingly, uh, it got that status recently. Also, if you live in Ireland, the bus strikes, the buses are supposed to come back tomorrow and I'm super excited. It's been like 20 days. I've been stuck here unless I can get lifts and that's, it's not, it's not ideal when you're me and can't drive and you live like an hour and a half away from where you want to go sometimes. Yes, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Sloan.